years. There are still so many questions about what went wrong. Was it the weather? Pilot error? Some sort of mechanical issue? 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is talking to local pilots, including our own aviation expert, to get answers. They can become disoriented and lose control of the aircraft. Zach Taylor knows firsthand what can happen when conditions go from bad to worse. Taylor operates Tampa Bay Aviation. If you see a helicopter flying around, chances are pretty good. It might be one of his. I have had experience uh, with pilots having to land off airport because the conditions got bad. The Sikorsky S-76 that crashed in California, killing Kobe Bryant and eight others, says Taylor, is a big, sophisticated helicopter capable of flying much like airplanes by instruments only. But early reports show the pilot was flying using SVFR or special visual flight rules, flying by sight, even though conditions were worse than usual. Bad enough that the sheriff's office wasn't flying. If the ceiling stayed the same, it's almost as if his parameters became squeezed and the operating airspace he had to use became less and less. 10 News aviation expert Mark Weinkrantz says airplanes fly through clouds, rough terrain, even darkness all the time. So airline pilots, he says, are trained to fly using instruments on virtually every flight. But with helicopters, pilots might not be used to switching over from visual to instruments that quickly. Somebody that checks out as a karate uh, black belt at age 18 if he doesn't do it again until he's 35. How good is he at those skills even though at one time he was very very well practiced. There is no rule or federal law that says you can't fly in bad weather conditions. Ultimately it's up to the pilot say aviation experts if they have the proper training and certification to decide if it's safe enough to take that flight. It's still early in the process. Investigators have not ruled out mechanical issues. And while no one wants to rush to judgment, it's understandable, say those in the industry, why so many want answers so quickly in this case. We hear about them in the news that make big news because they happen so infrequently, and especially with celebrity. Uh, definitely any time there's a, a name like that that something happens to, it's going to draw a lot of attention, and they're, gonna, and they're definitely going to be digging for the answer to what happened. There were only about a thousand Sikorsky S-76 helicopters ever made. Some are getting older, but aviation experts say with proper maintenance, they should be able to operate safely and reliably.